a map, according to a very simple definition, is a, a graphic and a selective depiction of a part of the Earth's surface. Generally, people assume that a map is accurate and it uh, portrays geographic reality at its best. But since maps are a selective document, it means somebody had to decide what was not being shown and what is shown. And because of that, there has to be some bias. In other words, we could have early maps of North America, which are published by the Europeans, and they would show all the European settlements, but they would ignore the Native American settlements. And that, in a sense, is a bias against the Native Americans. Because there is bias, then there are stories that go along with those maps. And I think it's our mission as educators to try to uh, tell what those stories are. One very good example is a map by Richard Eads Harrison, which was published in 1943 called Great Circle Airways. And Richard Eads Harrison was this very innovative artist cartographer during the 1930s and the 1940s. And he prepared maps to illustrate articles in popular magazines like Life, Time, and Fortune. And he liked to look at the world from different perspectives. In this particular example, he uses what's called an azimuthal projection, which means the projection touches the Earth at one particular spot. And in this case, it's the North Pole. So you see the whole world from the North Pole. What is interesting about this map in terms of World War II, North Americans were very much concerned about uh, not getting involved in the conflict in Europe and Japan. It, there was a feeling of isol isolationism. So if you look at most world maps, you see North America in the center. Here's the Atlantic Ocean, here's the Pacific Ocean, and there's a great distance between Europe and Asia. But when you look at the world from the North Pole as your center of focus, you see how close Northern United States and Canada are to Russia and Northern Europe. So there you get an understanding of the message that is being portrayed in this particular map.